In this tutorial you will learn how easy it is to model interior scene using 3ds Max. I'm Idan from Arcviz Champ, let's get started! To import our 2D plan into 3ds Max and we have uh, several options to do so. We can either start by uh, cleaning all the information that we don't need and maybe uh, exploding all the objects and we then have to make sure that the file is flat. You can go, I'm now in the front view of the CAD file and we have some lines that are not sitting on the zero of the z-axis so we we are introduced with several problems in this situation the second option is to start tracing the walls we can pick the polyline make a new uh, layer and we can start picking the wall inside and then moving this layer to uh, the 3d software but for this specific situation when we need only one plan and we we are doing an interior um, scene we can go with the simplest option and just print screen the plan and then moving it into the 3d file as a simple image so to do so i'm going to minimize all these tools Going to get closer only where I need to. My focus is going to be on the living room area, but I want also to see the garden and the exterior walls. So this position is okay. I'm going to click on print screen and open up Photoshop. Now I'm going to make new, new file going to edit and paste so now we have the plan as an image i'm going to crop it make sure to have a square crop so it will be easier to remember it in the 3d software all the way over here that's okay and now we can save it as a file now in this way, even if you have only a PDF uh, file of the plan, you can do the same. Just put it in Photoshop and save it as an image and you're good to go. So now we are in uh, 3ds Max. I'm going to add a simple plane. We're going to the Create tab and choose a plane. Now we can set it to uh, to be square, 1000 on 1000 and we can remove all the segments, we don't need any. And now we can just drag our image on top of it. If you're having a hard time seeing all the details of the image, you can go to the configure viewport and under the display performance texture maps you can increase the maximum pixels about 3000 should be enough okay so now what we need to do is to scale it properly according to the plane dimensions as you can see i have dimensions lined in the planes that i can use so this one is kind of hard to see, but let's check in the CAD file, 1468, I'm going to create another plane and make the length of it 1468. So we need to get this line the same length as this, as this plane. So first of all, I'm going to pick our AutoCAD plan and go to the uh, hierarchy. And I want to move the pivot right about here, where the dimension line starts. I'm going to snap it 
over here. Let's just move this plane a bit up so we can see it. And now I can scale our plane. Let's scale it. Okay. And you can see that it stays at the same place. So let's scale it up. You can click on control and fine tune it in small uh, increments. And let's just double check, take the tape. Let's see one dimension over here, supposed to be 552. And it's 552, 551. That's about right. We can delete this uh, helping plan. Let's make sure that our plane is near the zero X. And I want to lock it. I'm going to the hierarchy, link info, and lock the movement. Next, I want to make sure that this plane won't be, won't be rendered. So we're going to the object properties uncheck renderable and check back face cool so we can see it, what's going on under it and now we're ready to start and trace our uh, walls now a lot of times what i see people do is start with uh, box modeling which i really don't recommend to start and, and create a box and extrude it and start to build this way all your walls instead what we're going to do is pick a line i'm gonna take spline we're gonna start in the inside corner and just put vertex on every opening and corner in order to lock the movement horizontally or vertically i can click on shift and start picking on each and every opening and corners at the start i'm only doing the outer walls okay i can do it from here because we're not going to see all the all this area so this one doesn't matter and again here now i'm going to get inside the line and continue creating the line i made a separation here because this wall is continuing and eventually we're going to close it together and it asks us if we want to weld the vertices and we say yes just make sure that you have a straight line here so move it like so and i'm going to select all the vertices right click and make them as a corner now i can add an extrude modifier either from the drop menu or if you have it here and let's set amount of about three meters i'm going to turn off cap end and cap start i'm going to add an edit poly and i want to slice the geometry the top doors and windows are at so we're going to the vertex mode slice plane i'm gonna uh, set it in about two meters two meters and ten and make a slice and for the bottom of the windows i'm gonna set it to about um, one meter and five centimeters and make a slice and moving to the polygon selection and i'm going to delete and make our openings so we have one here another window in the kitchen 
another one in here and that's about it now take a notice that the polygons are flipped the other way around when I'm doing interior renders I like the polygon to face inside out so the bright color of the polygon should be inside I will select all polygons and click on flip okay and now we simply need to add a shell modifier make the inner size 20 centimeters to fix these uh, skewed corners we need to check the straighten corners and we have some uh, weird smoothing groups here so we need to uncheck it and override edge smooth groups and that's it okay so we finished our outer walls and i want to show you how great is it is to start as a line and not a box because we can go down to the edit poly modifier and if we need to make any changes to the opening we just can do it freely on a simple one plane we can cut we can edit as we like and then use the shell modifier to give it the thickness I'm gonna do the same for the for the inside wall Now let's add a floor and ceiling again using a simple plane let's go to the top view and just click and drag like so make sure you cover all the walls area all the inside area and we can even duplicate it by holding shift and drag and move it to the top I'm going to rotate it 100 degrees make sure you have the angle snap okay and we can do object properties and backface school so we can see inside but still have ceiling for the rendering all right next up let's add some windows I'm going to use the standard 3d max windows they are very simple to use in the drop down menu let's select the windows I'm gonna go with the sliding window I'm gonna click on snap tool and click and drag like so now let's change the parameter a little bit as you can see now the window open like so and we want to flip it so uncheck the hung okay and I want to make the depth of it not 20 as the wall but something like 7 I'm going to make the frame a little bit thicker about five is good and the outer frame could be maybe three okay and the thickness of the glass I'm going to make it about 0 0.5 centimeters now we can duplicate this wall sorry this window as a copy let's rotate 90 degrees and move it to the next opening somewhere in the middle and let's reduce the width again we can click on alt to make a subtle movement let's move it to the middle okay and let's change the height nice
Alright, so that was the end of the first part. In the next lesson we will go over how to apply some materials, furniture, lighting and final render settings. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.